to the day before. Well, guess what? It's gonna be May. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. But are you guys ready to plan for the month of May? Let's plan the month of May together. Well, we're going to be planning from this calendar right here. Isn't it cute? It's a little calendar that has all the moon phases on it. Well, let's get started, you guys. So, you guys know that usually I just do a small calendar. Um, I was thinking of doing a larger calendar this time, but I don't know how stuff is like spaced out. So, I think we may do that for the month of June. And this month, you know, do kind of like the same thing I do. Oh, yeah. And also, I don't like uh, plan out before I do my video. We do actually plan together. Isn't that fun? So, here's my bag of pens. Do you see how many pens are in there? It's ridiculous. So... There's a micron pen. We may use that. Um, that's a light pink. Carnation. Okay, we're going to try that. That's an artist loft pen. So that's from uh, Michael's. I think that's Michael's brand. I'm not sure though. And let's do like a yellow, like a bright yellow. Do you want to stick with Artist Loft and try those out today? Yeah, there are so many puns for May. <laughs> like on May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Stuff like that. Uh oh. Okay, my phone's dinging in the other room. So let's just write May out. You know, I don't do the fancy lettering and stuff very much. I'm just doing my thing. That's cute. Alright, next. Let's do a little flower here. A little flower there. Because another saying. Oh, look at that. It picks up the paper. This is an Archer and Olive notebook, right? And I'm using... The key one, can you see them, kind of, in the corner up here? Well, do you know what I did? I sewed a little key charm onto the dangly thing. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. Anyway, so now we'll do little flower petals. But yes, April showers bring me flowers. Oh, so cute. All right. Just a little May flower. It's not too terribly cute, but we're going to go with it. Now, I'm going to make a little calendar here at the bottom. of the page and it only goes on this page and I'll be right back it won't take me long to like uh, set up the lines so whenever the month starts on a Monday I do a Monday start calendar and that's how I always start my calendar I skip two boxes on that side three boxes on this side and make a line across and then I don't know if I can get it to focus, but I skip one box and then put M. Skip two boxes, T. Two boxes, W. And you get the gist. And, you know, I like this calendar because this is the calendar I just glance at to see what day is on what, right? And uh, usually what I do is I write down everything else on the other page that I have going on. And I'll draw a little emblem on the calendar that indicates, oh, hey, go look at the other page. You have something going on that day. Okay, 
So I'm done. So as you can see, I skip three and then I draw a line, right? And I made five rows. Now I'm just going to write in the numbers. And I think instead of using my, what is this? It is a sepia, because that's my favorite ink color, um, Pigma Micron. Yep, my favorite pen color, like ink color, is sepia. I know, it's weird, but I love it. So don't judge me. So to write in the numbers, I'm going to use this Archer and Olive. Um, it's pink. It's super cute. I think it's from the Cozy Cafe box. It's a gel pen. All right, there is the first row. See how cute it's going to be. Um, I think it's coming together nicely, you guys. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, the numbers are drawn in. Let's take a look. So that's how it turned out so far. I like it. Alright, you guys, let's keep going. So next, I'm just going to thumb through and try to pick out like a theme out of a sticker book like okay and if I use washi tape I have these picked out those two are from like a monthly archer and olive kit I think that's from the same kit that's scotch brand washi tape and that's from Walmart probably and this is a uh, washi tape that a friend sent and it's gorgeous too. It, oh, and that's Archer and Olive as well. Okay, next, we're going to look through that sticker book, you guys. I've been really liking it. So, I don't know what, oh, you know what the main theme should be is like flowers. But I always do flowers because I like to do bones and flowers a lot. Maybe we do like just like pink flowers. There's one we could use. Looks pretty. Let's see. Ooh, that's cute. A little spell jar with uh, flowers in it. Oh gosh, how can I get you guys to see that? There we go. Yep, that's going on there, period. Period. Okay. Just kind of boop. It's cute right there. Okay. Oh, and that one's cute too. That's a maybe. Alrighty. Oh, there's some stars on this page. Here, I'll hold you guys. And I don't even know if the lights here. We'll stick it up. Can we? And there's like a shadow from a leaf. Ah! Okay. That's looking good. Hold on, guys. And let's look. Pretty. Or is that moon? Ooh, there's lots of pretty stuff on here. Um, no. Oh, yeah. I think I will go with that one. The carnations. Pretty. Is that enough? No, let's do one more, like, tiny flower there. Ooh, that's nice. All right, so there's the first page of my May, you guys, and we did it together. Like, basically from start to finish. Pretty cool. 
So, we didn't take that, uh, I've been filming for 17 minutes, you know I'm going to cut some stuff out, but, so it took us 17 minutes to do that, that's not too much, and that's like even planning it out and stuff, you know. to do and the tea looks kind of wonky you know uh, I could show you how to fix stuff too right now I guess I could or how I fix it <laughs> all right so what I do oh and this scotch tape brand washi tape is really good for covering stuff so you just cover it up right with washi tape like it was never even there wow and see there's like a bit of pink poking out. Ooh, look at that. That is nice. So you just kind of um, do the pink outline around that. Around two edges, like as a sh type of a shadow. And that will cover up. Your mistakes. All right, that looks decent. And with that scotch washi tape, I think I can write on it with my micron. Mm, I don't know about that. That picks up. Gosh darn it. Clean it all. Never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> but I can just like right underneath of it. Do I have any letter stickers? Mm, I know what I'll do. Blur stickers. I'm going to put a little castle sticker right there. And write to do on it. I have figured out my mistake. But completely fix it. Two. And that's fine. Do you see? Here. To do. That is really nice. Alright. We're done with that page. Alright. What are we going to do next, you guys? 
I usually do a tarot card of the day, but I haven't been using it. So, okay, so we'll still do tarot card of the day, but I usually do two pages and I'm only going to do one. And since we used a castle on the other page and kind of strayed from our little flower theme there, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use this washi tape, right? You know, this is early morning and like the sun is blinding. We'll make it all work. So like fairy tale flower theme. That's what we'll call this. Fairy tale flowers. All right. And I just will write tarot. Okay, I like that, at least. <laughs> Let me show you. Tarot card of the day. And I will just write down on that one page, tarot card of the day. And I have an idea for the other page, too. Because I really want to get a, like, routine together, you know? I'm going to get my life together. So, we're going to split this page up into like three sections so I can create later on the mood like a morning, afternoon, and evening routine, okay? I think that sounds fun. And we'll use this pink washi tape to go with the gentle May theme of fairy tale flowers. Okay. And then, since we use the pink washi, let's use the pink marker. May. All right, that's fine. Kind of boring. Okay, let's put like a flower there because that's boring and I saw like purple flowers I thought which oof, would be gorgeous oh here they are they're so cute I like this okay Here are these two pages. Cute. Very simple. And then you just fill out what you need, you guys. Just a little pop of decorations. All right, you guys, I'm just holding you at this point. And this is the page where finally I just do, like I say, May Journal. What is that shadow? Here it is. That's what it was. That's actually from Egypt. Cool, right? We'll put that over there. Yep, I'm doing this in my plant room. It's so nice and peaceful in here. So I'm just going to write. May. Okay. 
May journal, and that's not bad for holding you guys while I did it, I think. <laughs> and I already have a sticker picked out because it's going to go with the sticker from the previous page where it says uh, routines on it. There it is. Isn't it pretty? And I am done, you guys. So... This is how I do my journal every month. The only addition this month is uh, the routines page, and I need to, like, completely come up with that. But here it is. So that's, uh, oh, you know what? And we're going to plop it up because of the sun. And then we're going to move that thing again. Okay. Look how that is so reflective with the sun. That's gorgeous. But... Here is the first page, and we'll kind of lift it up because it's in shadows. Pretty cool. There is my to-do page where I write everything down. There is my tarot card of the day page, May routines, those are reflective stickers, not good for filming, pretty cute. I may also, you guys, write down like a tarot card of the month, and I will forget a lot of days to even do it. But, and that's my May journal page, and that's like what I use this for mainly is journaling. But you know what? This is my 2023 journal, and I still have a whole lot left. Usually, I'd be ready to like move on to a new journal about six months in, and I honestly have not been using this journal very much. I carry around a smaller one in my bag, and I think since I just go, 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 I use that more. But anyway, that's the end of the video for today, and I hope you enjoyed actually planning out my May bullet journal with me. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.